I booked a Grimaldi Lines uh, ferry from Barcelona to Porto Torres. And because I didn't find a lot of information about the journey online, I decided to make a YouTube video about it. I will test out an outside cabin, an inside cabin, and also show you around the ship. Well, I'm finally in Barcelona. I have a puncture. Pro tip, there is a 24-hour shop near the port. Also, I could repair the wheel quite cheaply. Finding the entry to the terminal was actually easier than I thought. Just type in Grimaldi lines uh, in your navigator. You have to check in in the office, so you have to be like two or three hours before departure there. Driving and parking on the ferry itself was very easy and self-explanatory. You know what? This is not bad. Not bad. Good morning, everyone. The night was actually quite good. A bit short. Only slept like maybe four hours or so now we will take a shower and then i don't know maybe check out uh, the ship it's a bit stormy right now so uh, the outdoor decks are closed yeah there are not a lot of people apart from like uh, i don't know a whole italian school of kids and also i just bought a coffee for two euros which is okay i think so i read on the internet that the food here is not good I brought something with me, but to be honest with you, I actually would like to try out the cafeteria, maybe later. I have this Spanish pate. These things, they are also quite tasty. And a bit of baguette. Probably one of the best canned foods I know. So this is my room and uh, we are on the ninth deck. Let's take a walk around the ship. It's possible to reserve a seat like this, but to be honest with you, it doesn't look <laughs> great. Talk to the reception, there is no access to cars uh, when you're on the go, and we have a delay. Well, the ship is not the cleanest or the newest, but I would say it's good enough. It's a bit used and so on, but yeah, you know, uh, you get what you pay for, and I think the price is actually quite okay. So, I think let's grab a coffee. I have to say, so far, I enjoying the trip. Mm, I could understand why I disagree. So this is an uh, outside cabin on the Grimaldi Line ferry. Uh, this is a four sleeper room. You have a nice big window. The window is quite dirty because we had a big storm tonight. Nice curtains so you can completely block the sun. You have two beds. I would say the mattresses on the beds were actually quite a high quality, but probably they are a bit old. On the top, you had the bunk beds, which are the same size, and you still have enough room underneath. Here we have a nice sitting area. Don't forget to bring some water and snacks with you. And the bathroom. Uh, yeah, the bathroom is okay. The shower is a bit small, but you have uh, warm water and it works quite good. These are the commodities you have soap and showering gel all in all quite good 18 euros this is an angus burger i have to say i'm not a fan okay let's taste it 
Now I'm sitting in the car and waiting for the departure from the ferry. The English uh, enunciations of what you have to do, you can barely understand. It's like, uh, dear uh, madam and gentlemen, and then... The plan was to visit the spa on my journey back because I haven't uh, booked any accommodations. On Sardinia itself I had a wildfire fighting training and I haven't slept the night before and I was uh, dead. The ship was way fuller on the way back, I assume it's because it was middle of the day, so I was forced to book a bed. I got an inside room this time and it's more or less the same, just a bit smaller and there is no window. But it was way more expensive because booked on the ship, so be aware, the inside room is nothing for me, I hated it. Luckily I slept almost all the time, so the food I tried on board wasn't worth it. Quite expensive and really not tasty. Everyone had to leave their room more than two hours before arriving in the port. But that was actually quite fun because there was like live music in the bar. Conclusion, I really enjoyed it. Uh, for me it was like a small cruise ship tour and yeah. Number three, number five, number five. Thank you.